Yeah, state organs is certainly an accurate title for what happens to organ pillaging in China. It's done by the state, for the state, to the benefit of, of participants. And the, the, the secondary goal in it, if not the primary goal, is to get rid of so-called enemies of the party, the Falun Gong practitioners. The numbers grew so quickly from 92 to 99, 70 to 100 million by the government's own estimates, and their values uh, are so different from the parties that they were terrified. I met a young woman in, um, in London Whose, uh, whose father was a practitioner, Falun Gong practitioner. He was thrown in jail. He was, he was sentenced to, I think, 11 years in jail. Her mother was thrown in jail. The police literally t t sort of dragged her mother away one night and they left her in the apartment. I think she was 12 or 14 or something like this. And the father was in jail. I mean, it, it, this is for, this is for, believing in truth, compassion, forbearance. But there's so many cases like that. I mean, we've, we've, talked, to, uh, we've talked to dozens and dozens of people like this, and uh, they're all wonderfully sweet, kind people uh, without a vicious bone in their body, or, and they have nothing but goodwill for people, and yet they're treated this way. <laughs>